guys, it's Marissa here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another very, very exciting video for you guys for another day of Vlogmas. We are going to be wrapping presents. One of my favorite things to do during the holidays. I love the aesthetic of a wrapped present and I'm going to be showing you what I use to wrap presents and how I wrap them. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm not actually going to show the gifts themselves, but I will tell you that we do have a lot to wrap today. I have these two bags filled, <laughs> so we're gonna be here for a while. But before we get wrapping, I thought I would give you a little supply haul. So let's get right into that. So I bought most of my supplies from Walmart and Michaels, and then one thing's from Target but we'll get to that. So for my tissue paper, I just have white tissue paper from the holiday time collection at Walmart. And then I have these cute little name tags also from Walmart. They're super, super cute. Boxes, there's a couple different designs in here, a couple different sizes. So I got these two rolls from Michaels. They're just regular brown wrapping paper. I love the look of brown wrapping paper. And then I have some yarn. I had this from last year, so I don't remember where I got it, but this is pretty standard anywhere. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. It's pretty standard anywhere. And then I have this cute little speed up. So let's get wrapping. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is line the bottom of our box with tissue paper. I'm just gonna take the white tissue paper and go ahead and put two of them per box. That way I can fold this over afterwards. And then I always finish it off by putting a piece of tissue paper on top. There we go. And to make sure it stays shut, we're gonna tape the sides with my favorite scotch tape because who doesn't love some good scotch tape? One present is wrapped. And as I say, the first one's always the hardest. So, let's go look a tad rough for a hot second. And then we have our stamp. Christmas, you filthy animal, and a happy new year. And then lastly, I have these vinyl trees I just made on my Cricut, and I'm gonna cut them out for you, and we're gonna put them on the packaging. I think it's super, super cute, and I hope they look good on. We have some really cute trees. We're going to put those on. Okay, so I just finished wrapping all the gifts. They're all done. Now it's time to move on to the card. And for that, I have my calligraphy pens. And then I also have my super favorite wax stamp kit, which we're gonna go through all of that and make it a fun adventure. So I'm gonna start out with my pen. I'm not good at calligraphy. I just got this a couple weeks ago and I haven't had the chance to learn how to write angular for yet. Okay, so this is the current. It's not very good. But now it's time for my favorite, favorite part, which is my wax stamp. So this kit is from Amazon. I have one of these. And then this just like, is holds this. You don't have to hold this over the candle and let it burn. Kind of does it all for you. Got my batches. I have my candles. And then I have my wax beads. And then I have this little book. It's gonna be all of my wax stamps, which I think is super cute way to like package. Like I love the packaging for this, like a book. So I have a couple different options. There's this one. And then there is this one. There you go. And then we have this one this one this one and then we have this cute little wreath which i think i'm gonna go with the wreath because that seems the most christmasy and i get some of my cubes and a happy new year. i usually do like three 
and then it will quickly quickly melt so as you can see the wax is all melted so now we're going to take this off and then we're just going to pour a little bit on our envelope take our stamp and just and that is the final result but yeah that kind of wraps up today's video i really hope you enjoyed and if you liked it remember to like comment and subscribe and then stay tuned for next time because there will always be more bye